If you're anything like me, you want to be able to work creatively whenever creativity strikes. And to help you do that, software makers have created cloud-based applications that allow you to work on photos on your phone. Now, for me, that's Lightroom. But the problem is, sometimes it's difficult to trust what you're seeing on your mobile device because you're in different ambient conditions. So you might be outside in the sunlight working on your images, you might be in a dark room, you might be at the store, you might be in your car waiting for your kids at school. Wherever it is, you've always got changing ambient conditions and you're not quite sure if what you're seeing is what you're getting. And so I've created a little life hack for you and I hope it's helpful. So first, take a picture of your color checker passport and import that image into Lightroom. Make sure that when you take it, you're not just taking a picture of the color checker passport alone. Make sure that it has you know, a person in it or a landscape in it or something like that so that it's indicative of the types of things that you photograph. And you can do multiple different photographs if you like, um, but in this case, we're showing a model with the color checker passport. Now, in order to create a profile, simply go to the export dialog box on this photograph and go to the export to area. And if you've installed the XWrite plugin, you just click on XWrite presets, name the preset, and then go ahead and export that file. Once you've done that and restarted Lightroom, you will now have a profile inside of Lightroom. Go to the develop module with that image and go to your profile browser and find that profile and make sure it's applied to your image. After you have applied the profile, simply go to the library module and create a collection. And that collection, you want to name it XWrite calibration and put it somewhere where you can find it. In my case, I'm going to put it in my XWrite lessons folder and I'm going to synchronize it with Lightroom CC and I'm going to include the selected photo and hit create. By doing that, I've created a collection that is synchronized with Lightroom CC or the Creative Cloud. Notice that all of these have little sideways lightning bolts. If you see a square here instead, that means it is a collection that is not shared. This one is shared with Lightroom CC. And because I've synchronized that collection to the Creative Cloud, I have a copy of my color checker passport photo right here on my phone and any other mobile device I might be using, which means because I know what this color checker passport looks like, I can correctly assess how bright this photo actually is simply by looking at the photo itself and when I deem that it's too bright or too dark I can simply go to my brightness settings and change the brightness either brighten it up or darken it down until I feel like that photo is bright enough or dark enough based not on looking at the person but based on looking at the color checker passport itself. This is just one more instance where calibration tools like the Color Checker Passport give me the confidence that I need to work on my photos no matter where I happen to be or what device I happen to be on even if it's my phone.